Let's start with the benefit. We want to reduce food waste. Is there, a, is there a way to reduce food waste by using gene editing to ensure that, for example, crop installations in areas where digital agriculture is being developed, the convergence point you're making, how would you bring that together? So rather than sell the opportunity to say, let's try IoT for agriculture and gene editing for more robust crops, let's take the business challenge of supplying a new market at a lower point of price so then we can develop greater value. I'd say that, that that's not a play on words. It, it is it's fundamentally flipping around the thinking to be more about what outcome do we want to achieve for the world. The issue is not about how do you use 3D printing because it's cool. It is how do I develop a more convenient experience for people who use contact lenses? And how do I develop them at a lower price point? And how do I take that to the market in a way that has a business model around it, which is also part of their overall transformation? So, so I think that's a brilliant example, because actually ophthalmic companies, uh, they, they, it's not just that they need to see the brief on additive manufacturing. We should put together a workshop for ophthalmic companies talking about contact lenses of the future. And I bet it's already happened. So actually, how, why aren't, do we have responsibility to go and find that community and connect them to us? I, I'd say it's more on us to do that than it is on, on, uh, on ophthalmologists who are talking about this in conferences to come to find us. There's got to be a commercial model behind that. that actually, what would you expect the year one uh, performance to be? Uh, is it okay for us to spend $500,000 on that or $50,000 on that? Um, should we actually try and work in collaboration? Should we try and design a circular economy style business model to try and work with smaller startups? Let's not try and get into this traditional, let's just buy them and give them all personal wealth that makes them want to be locked into us. Let's find a more circular way to do it. Is, is there, I, I just, you talked about audacity, I love that word. Let's, it's difficult to talk about audacious commercial models um, because ultimately you'll see it in Excel. But how can we, how can we translate that? I believe it is from flipping it over and thinking, what is the business benefit this year for a company who has a plan this year with a budget, which is budgeted for this year, and working with them to scope that project now so then we don't give them the reason to say, we've got our 2018 planning round coming up. It starts in September. Let's meet in August, have a gentle conversation about it. We can put $50,000 aside. Let's see how it goes. No, let's reject that. Let's go and be formal and professional about business cases and, and commercial models. I think we'll get somewhere. Challenge yourself with a realistic answer to the question, are you going to drive a breakthrough yourself and adopt the skills required to write a business case, create a commercial model, do that at the level where you're not asking someone to do the numbers and you're asking a project manager to convert your vision into a business case. Are you going to drive it yourself or are you going to wait for others?